I want to open this door. Look at all this. Look at all this loot. Look at all that. The silver. There's so much silver in there. <gasps> Please. Welcome, my friends, to the very first episode of Skyrim Life as a Thief. Now, obviously, this is a brand new series. And, you know, this first episode is going to serve as kind of a little bit of a test episode. So, you know, if you guys do want to see more, feel free to let me know in the comments below if you do want to see more of this series, Life as a Thief. So, for now, I think we should just jump straight into it. I mean, yeah, there's not really much to say apart from this is Life as a Thief. My goals for this series are to amass as much money as possible so I can leave the thief life and live a normal life as a very rich, rich lord of Skyrim, uh, kind of away from the uh, the past thief life. So my goal is to become a legitimate citizen of Skyrim by owning a property. I don't know which property I'll own yet, probably a mid-tier one, so I don't have to raise too much money, but then it does mean I have to raise a little bit, rather than buying like Bree's home, which is like, you know, 5k. I have to do something a bit more expensive. But that's my goal. I want to as mass as much treasure, loot, and gold as possible, so I can live the uh, the dream of uh, owning property in Skyrim and becoming a lord. And so, my friends, in this first episode, oh no, I did not. I'm gonna go back to my little hidey hole. My thief hidey hole is here. In this first episode, my friends, the goal is to pull a heist and steal coin, treasure, and valuables from the Yarl of White Run himself by robbing his quarters and robbing Dragon's Reach Keep and just taking anything we find, absolutely anything we find uh, and then running off to, to Riften to then join the Thieves Guild because our current quest that we're starting out with is taking care of us to locate Brynjolf at the Ragged Flagon and so once we locate Brynjolf uh, we shall uh, begin the Thieves Guild stuff and we shall amass as much treasure loot as possible. So that's my uh, opening for this series. It's, uh, it's a pretty simple goal and it's not—it's not—it's not gonna be quite as epic as the uh, life as a vampire in terms of action, but I do have my trusty uh, blackjack here that can knock out guards and uh, people that get in my way. So I think we're just gonna rob as much stuff from White Run as possible. And to do that, I'm gonna wait until the dead of night. I'm gonna put away my blackjack and I'm gonna uh, sleep until night time, and then come first night, I shall uh, begin robbing. Okay, my friends, night has fallen upon us now. Oh, we've got the. Uh, Northern lights in the sky there, the lights of Skyrim. But it is indeed now- Oh no, there's guards still there. Guard on patrol. Let's put our blackjack to good use, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. Ah! Uh, there we are, okay. We've knocked him out of the blackjack. That's what the blackjack does, it knocks out guards. We haven't been seen yet, so we're gonna keep sneaking. Let's go around here. And so, before I begin my epic thieving of Whiterun, my looting of Whiterun, I've installed a few good mods here, a few cool mods. Ah, oh, this is actually a lovely site. Look at this. This is so picturesque and scenic. Anyway, my goal, sorry, the mods that I've installed, I've installed a couple Thieves mods that add a lot of things to, uh, to, to Skyrim, as you will see as the series progresses. A lot of things have been added. Obviously, I've got my little blackjack kit, which is not actually a weapon. This is a mod itself. But as you can see, there's a ladder there, and this is the first instance of the mod itself. It adds um, a lot of cool things you can do as a thief, like scaling buildings and uh, reaching higher levels of uh, towns and cities. So as you can see here, I'm uh, actually on the roofs of Whiterun now via climbing this cool little ladder which was uh, oh, just down there. Oh, and then he fell off. But another thing you can see is a hatch here. Look, there's a hatch leading right into Belathor's general goods store. And there's a hatch leading right into the apothecary. So let's uh, let's thief from Belathor and we can uh, see what this series has in store for us. So as you can see, I've scaled the buildings, and I've now entered Belathor's kind of, you know, his his home slash shop via the rooftops. 
But there's a, there's a hatch just there. There's a bed there. So um, I'm not going to steal bowls and stuff. I, I want I want valuable things. Oh, we've got the uh, the business ledgers here. Can't forge anything yet since I haven't got that quest done. But we shall see what valuable things Bellathor's general goods has in store for us. So as you can see, I, I entered his house via the rooftops, which is a pretty cool mod, actually. Uh, that is just the surface of all that mod adds. It adds a bunch of different things, like, uh, well, you're going to see once we heist the um, the Yarl, once we pull off the grand heist of Whiterun and rob the Yarl, there's a new cave system under Whiterun. Oh, there's a guard there. Okay. Oh, let's steal this. This is valuable stuff. Candlesticks are made of silver, which is very valuable. So we've got some candlesticks already. Uh, let's have a cheese wheel, why not? Cause, uh, oh yes, look at look at these. Goblets and jugs of silver. Yeah, I mean, I has a, oh, Bellathor's just there. He hasn't seen me yet, because my stealth is amazing. Oh, he's just coming up this way, so we're going to have to do a little uh, dupe here. We're going to have to dupe him by go doing this. There we are. Let's take a bowl as well. Is that his, He's got a guard there, standing watch, so we have to be careful. Oh yeah, this model also adds guards for citizens. Now, most citizens will have guards now. You follow them around and look after their stores at night, just making it a bit, you know, harder for us. So it's not quite easy. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not super easy for us to rob citizens. Um, oh, so stores have guards now, and citizens uh, will be accompanied by guards at night, and patrols of guards at night are increased. So, oh yes, we've got some jewels from him. <gasps> don't see me! 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 Oh no! He doesn't see me yet. Sweet. There we are. Night Watchman down. Hell yeah. Oh, let's loot the Night Watchman. Oh, just a steel mace. You can keep that. So as you can see here, I've, I've knocked out the Night Watchman. This is an addition by the mod. Uh, obviously, shops now have Night Watchman, which is going to be interesting to uh, have to face. I think I've looted enough as I can from Bellathor. I'm going to hit the... Uh... You're not supposed to be in here. Oh, no. Run! I should never go out of sneak. He's gonna call the guards. Can we get out of there? So yeah, that was the first example of some of the cool additions the mod adds. Uh, the, night, the night watchman, I think, is a pretty healthy and fun addition. Makes it a bit harder being a sneak thief now. So let's try the apothecary, shall we? Ooh, look here we are. Uh, night watchman down there. And you know what? Honestly, I don't think the apothecary is gonna have too much of value. Um, I can roll around like this <laughs> if I need to get out quickly. Um. The Night Watchman's going to be hard to one-tap because their back's not to me yet and their back has to be towards you. I'd like a grilled chicken breast and some bread for the road. I need to travel to Riften at some point. I'm probably going to do that on foot. Now, the Night Watchman, I want to steal those potions that are down there. See those potions on the table? But the Night Watchman is in the way. Oh, if I had these stun arrows, which the mod adds, I could uh, stun them. But I wonder if my sneak is high enough to just drop down right in front of their eyes. Do do do. Do 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 do. Yep, not been found yet. Sweet. Let's steal all these potions. <gasps> oh no. I can't. Ah, oh, you're getting in the way. Will this work? <laughs> yes, it worked. Look at that. Brilliant. Oh shit! Don't get out of sneak because you'll be found. Potion of healing. Oh look at all these potions we're stealing now. This is actually a decent uh, haul of gear. So as you can see there, yet again I'm robbing someone else, the Night Watchman has been knocked out, and as soon as I've pulled off the, the heist, I'm going to need to get the hell out of Whiterun and never show my face again, because uh, they're going to all know it's me once uh, once uh, the stutters settle and everyone realises that they've been robbed in the night, including the Jarl himself. So, um, anything else I can take? Oh, I don't need much else. The potions were really the only valuable thing. <gasps> oh yes, a lockbox. Let's steal this. Or steal from this. We've got enough lockpicks right now to keep me going. I thought I'd start out with a few lockpicks as a thief, you know. There we are. Dude, look at this. Oh, more potions? Hell yeah. I can sell these when I get to Riften. Now that is good. That is what I want. Uh, let's loot the Night Watchman. Oh look, I've got some gold. I don't need an iron ingot, so I can't keep that. Anything of value in here? Let's steal from the wardrobe. Oh, some gold. Some Always, always welcome. Sweet. Okay, so that's just me showing uh, what it's like to, you know, rob stores and stuff. Kind of small time pickings. And now, my friends, we're going to heist Dragon's Reach Keep. We're going to 
steal from the Jarl himself in the very first episode. Uh, the the We're gonna see what the Jarl has hiding. Yeah. What, what did the rich of Skyrim keep from us poor? Why have I become a thief, you ask? Well, because palaces like this exist while I live in corners in cities. You see my little corner, that's where I'm living right now because I'm homeless. Oh, we've got a quest about Dawnguard. Let's not let's not do Dawnguard again. That was the last series. But as you can see, these waters, oh, they conceal something. They conceal a trap door leading to the White One Keep tunnels. Let's enter. So, my friends, look at this. We are now under the keep of White Run in a new secret passageway that has been added via the mod. This mod is so great. It adds so many cool things that make being a thief just so much cooler. So, look, right, right here, we're gonna. Oh, go around here. And you can see a vast cavern under the keep itself. Oh, there's a chest down there. Oh, what's in there? Let's see. Steal from chest. Oh, look, there's some gold. I can never have too much gold. As a, oh, there's something under here as well. Oh, no, that's nothing. That's nothing. So, yeah, as you can see, a vast cavern system under Whiterun, which is uh, going to lead us straight to the Yarl's quarters, where we can rob him. And obviously, we've got the uh, fountain here. Oh, sorry, well. Just a bunch of stuff. Oh, an an anvil and wood. Very nice. I guess they're using storage. Using it for storage space down here. But yeah, as you can see, just like... Oh, what's in these large sacks? Oh, a rotten tomato and stale cabbage. Oh, look at this. Let's take that. Hell yeah. Oh, a thieves' cache. Ooh, what's in this? Gold lockpick. Whiterun vault tunnel. What? Read. Oh! <gasps> there's, a, there's a vault? I didn't even know there was a vault in Whiterun. There's actually a vault. Wait, wait. Let, let's see. Let's see what this vault is. It's... Is there a vault somewhere? That's... Interesting. I didn't even know that was a vault. Honestly, I had no idea. Okay, so let's see what we've got down here. We should be approaching Dragon's Reach Keep now, since we've been travelling a fair distance of the tunnels. So, um... Where are we now? So this would lead to the Yarl's quarters, yes! Oh, the Yarl might be sleeping, but as long as we stay in crouch mode, in sneak mode, we shouldn't be caught. We are currently carrying a lot of stolen goods on us, so we don't want guards to find us. Because as soon as guards catch us, all of our stolen goods are forfeit, and that's not any fun robbing all of that just for it to be, uh, shit, I keep breaking my lockpicks, just for it to be nicked by the guards and thrown in prison. So, I'm going to rob the Yarl, and then in the next episode I'm going to head to Riften, and then that's where we're going to meet the fence, and hopefully the fence is where we can sell all of our stolen goods, because we really need, oh, there's a guard right there, <gasps> oh, she's coming this way, roll, 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 roll out of here. So this is the way I came in, and it's now locked. I can open it, though, if I need a quick escape. So as you can see, the, the guards, um, they're on, they actually patrol now. It's like, they don't just stand, that's it. See, they were standing in that corner, and I started doing stuff, and they started patrolling. It makes it a bit more fun and exhilarating to be, uh, having to work around the guards. But let's see if I can do this master lock. Like, ah, oh, I'm not, my lockpick skill is nowhere near enough, high enough to do this. Oh, actually, it was nice. Hell yeah. Elven sword. Let's take that. I'm going to save just here. <gasps> what was that? I heard a noise. So, I opened that mask lock there. That gave me a lot of XP that did, actually. I'm going to get my blackjack out just in case. So, I've robbed a lot of stuff now. Oh, no. I've detected. Do 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 So, yeah. Um, don't want to get caught. Because I've got a lot of stolen goods currently. Look, all, all these red hands are stolen goods. So, basically, most of my inventory is stolen goods. But, you know, that's just the life of a, as a thief, I guess. So, it makes sense. Do, 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 do. I actually think I'm allowed to be here. If I get caught, it doesn't really matter. Which is kind of funny. <gasps> <laughs> just knocked out a kid. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, he's got a... Oh, no. Alright, we've been caught. Let's escape. Huh. Okay, I've, I've not been caught yet. I'm still in sneak mode. This heist has gone to shit already. I've already knocked out a kid and it's... I haven't even got to the Yarl's quarters yet. He's under strict guard. Am I breaking all my lockpicks? Damn. Come on, open this door. I need to escape. There we are. Alright, back into the tunnels. Okay, let's take a breather here. This is quite a high octane... Oh no! They they followed me here. Run, 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 run. I'm in no position to uh, fight guards because I'm a mere thief. So, okay, the heist hasn't gone to plan so far. We can always try again. They are definitely following me, though. That's not good. Down this way. Oh, I wonder if I can hide down here. Oh, no. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here, guy. 
Run, run to the wind. Uh, I'd rather die than go to prison. No way am I giving up all my stolen goods. Escape, escape, escape. Look, they, they, look at them. They're all, they're all after me. The, sit, the whole town's after me. This is not good. Oh no, they found me again. There's too many guards. See, this mod adds a lot more guards to cities, so there's a lot more patrolmen. And so, once I've been caught robbing, like I have just been, uh, guards do tend to um, to all swarm on you, because there's a lot of them. And they uh, there's like alert systems, and guards all get alerted to who and what you are. And, oh look, there's a Cobra's girl there. I didn't even know that was a thing. But as you can see, I'm uh, going to hide now. And once they've all aggroed, or lost their aggro, I'm going to see if I can sneak back into the Yarl's quarters. Oh, there we are. So, I've now got a bounty on my head, guys. So that's, this is the first kind of bounty I've got of the series already in the first episode. So I'm everywhere in Whiterun hold now. Every town, every village. This is Riverwood, Whiterun. Every small village and whatever. Uh, guards are going to know me as a thief. Um, so once I've robbed the Yarl, I definitely want to head to Riften. Because not only are the thieves guild there, I can sell all my stuff, but I'm currently a wanted man. And I can't walk these streets now. I'm going to have to dodge all guards because, look, the guards there are on patrol. If a guard sees me, he's going to get instantly aggroed on me. So I need to make sure that this reticle here is always a straight line and I don't get detected like I did back in the Yarl's quarters like an idiot. Oh, there's a guard just there. I need to roll out of the way. As Like an idiot, I, was, I knocked out a kid for some, some fucking reason because I'm... An impulsive guy when I come to when it comes to playing RPGs, I do shit like knock out kids with blackjacks. I, I don't want to give up the Yarl heist because he's gonna have a lot of valuable stuff. Already we've stolen an elven sword worth nearly three hundred gold, so I'm I'm not ready to to give up the score just yet. So we're gonna get back into these tunnels. Oh hell yeah! Okay, this is looking good now. The guards are no longer aggroed on us. We can try sneaking again. The thing is, I can't get past this rock. It's like kind of glitchy. There we are. Okay, so let's. That's a mulligan. Let's try again. This time we'll uh, we'll not knock out kids and alert them to our presence. Another thing I did there in the kids' room when I knocked that kid out, I stood up, and that, that alerted uh, to my presence. So you got to stay in the sneak mode as a thief. You got to remember. In the, we're going to be seeing a lot of this in this series. A lot of uh, oh look, is that my blood? I think that's my blood. A lot of this uh, crouch mode. So we'll try this one more time. Is there a guard there? There's not a guard there anymore. There is a guard there. This ain't good. Right, let's first rob this room. I don't think I'm going to get into the Yarl's room, to be honest. He has a guard standing right outside the door. And I currently have no, like... I don't have any kind of cool arrows that you can get later on. Because the mod added these cool arrows that you can, you know, for, like, distractions and stuff. Oh, silver. Bar of silver. Hell yeah. Um, so I currently can't distract that guard. And he's, he seems to be standing in that position. So we'll have to uh, see what's going on. We'll take the silver though. I've already got two silver bars, which is worth a good one hundred gold between them both. Oh, some fine boots. You know, what? I'll take those fine boots. Boots are valuable. Let's pickpocket this dude. Oh, oh, this guy's already caught me apparently. I'll take your fine clothes as well in case I need to dress up as a gentleman. I'll take some alto wine. I'm robbing this guy blind, man. Holy shit. Alright, I'll leave this guy sleeping for now. Anyone else? There's a guard there, he hasn't seen me, I'm obviously still in sneak mode. I wonder if he can see me. <gasps> oh, look at this, okay. He hasn't seen me yet. So, I'll take this, I'll take that. This is definitely a heist of the ages, for sure. Look at all these silver cups that they have. The is, uh, I'll take an apple pie as well. Man, these 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 rich these rich folk of Skyrim really know how to uh, spend money, huh? Don't need any more fine clothes. I think I got enough. Don't need anything like that. No. Ooh, an unusual gem. I'll take that. Oh, we can do that in. Uh, we'll take that to uh, to the thieves guild, of course. And drum. Well, that's this room covered. I just don't, I can't get to that room because there's a guard on patrol. Take alto wine. Take all your plates. 
Ooh. Doo doo. Let's rob this room now. Oh, is this where they keep the coin? Is this where they keep their coin, I wonder? A lot of books. I'm not interested in books right now, to be honest. I wanna I want tangible valuables, like didn't mean to take that one, take the coin. <gasps> We've hit the mother load. Okay, this is the heist. This is the heist. This is the heist we wanted. Okay. Yes, look at this. Look at all these silver ingots. Oh my god. Yes, look at that. Hell yes, we're rich already, man. Dragon's Reach Vault Key. There is a vault here somewhere. We we can't leave until... Oh my god, my eyes are bigger... Oh, I'm greedy. I'm a greedy thief. What can I say? We've, we've got the vault key now. Yes, there we are. We're in. Hell yes. Amethyst gold. Coin purse with ten gold. Yes, look at this. I'll take this. Why not? My illusion is, is, is now up. Ball. End table. The cast iron pool. I don't need that. What's down here? Fine boots, fine hat. I'll take all of that stuff. Oh, okay, so we've we've actually got the vault key. We just need to find the vault. Take this as well. Let's see if I can sneak behind this dude here. By the order of the oh no! Stop right there. See, I got caught. Um. See you later, boy. I ain't being arrested. I got too much silver to be uh, arrested. To be in here. Let's see if I can uh, hide somewhere in the actual castle without having to run all the way out. I need this. Where's this vault? I need to find this vault. Uh, this is not good. I'm caught. I can be seen here. Everyone's somewhere. So my career as a thief currently not the best, but there's a vault here somewhere, and I want to find it. We're back in hidden mode. Now, I have a feel. I suspect the vault is in the Yarl's room. It has to be. It's got to be in the Yarl's room. We're going to have to go during the day, I think, when he's not sleeping. Oh, seven gold. I'll take that. Yeah, so, it would seem... Like... Where does the map point? I, do, I actually don't know where that's... The, where is that pointing to? It's un, It seems to be under the keep itself. Like, in the tunnels where we were? Like, I don't know. Sideways on? Is that sideways on? I'm not quite sure where that vault is, but I will check the Yarl's quarters. I'm gonna hide, find somewhere to hide. This storage room looks like a good place. Oh, we're on vault! There it is! We're on vault! We just found it! <laughs> by, totally by accident. We found the vault. Let's enter. So, I mean, my plan was to hide in that storage room until night, then head to the, the Yarl's quarters, but... By the looks of it, we found the vault already. There's a guard patrolling we can see up ahead there. Sweet. Okay, I didn't even mean to find that vault. I didn't know they were hiding it in there. Looks like we found it, man. We found it. Okay, there's a lot of guards sleeping in these vaults. So, if we get caught, we are definitely dead. Oh, there's a, I'll take a water skin. Hell yeah, I need a water skin. Oh yeah, speaking of water skins, we have got realistic needs and diseases on. So, we do need to eat and drink. So, yeah. That's why I've got a water skin now, so I can fill up with water. Okay, I'm going to leave these guards to sleep, because I'm, I'm more interested in the loot that uh, exists down in the vaults a bit more. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of guards in the vault areas. Okay, let's let's make sure we don't get caught here. We, we have a high bounty on our heads now. Damn, look at this. Do-do. 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 So, we, luckily, we've got the vault key now. We stole that from... The I guess I'm gonna make sure this guy doesn't follow us. Oh, this is an expert lock. I don't think I can do this. Oh, there we are. Hell, oh, no, oh, was I know where it is. I know where it is. Come on. Yes, there we are. Doink. There we are. Let's uh loot him for his. Oh, he's got a vault key as well. We can take that one as well. We've got two now. I'll take your steel arrows, why not? Oh, I, need, I do need a bow as well, actually. Alright. I don't know what's down that way. Where is... Ah, oh, I've got I've got all the keys now to all the different vaults. Oh my god, guys, there's so much loot here! There's so much loot in these white run vaults! Oh my god, this is... I'm, I'm so greedy. It requires another different key, a different key. This time. Oh, there's so many different keys I need. Alright, I'm going to keep venturing down this way. Guys, honestly, there's so much loot here. I think... Oh! <gasps> Oh no. 
Okay. Guard there. Let's go back this way. Oh god, we need to find hide the guard's knocked out corpse here. We're going to hide it somewhere. Can I open this gate? Nope. Which gates can I open? This one I can. Hell yeah. <gasps> Look at all this gear. Steel armor. Oh my god. Leather armor. There's so much armor. Steel from the chests. Oh my god. There's so much. Take these soul gems. <gasps> Debella statue worth 100. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh. This is a thief's dream. I won't even take these swords. I can't be lost. I need to carry all the all the gold that my pockets are going to be overflowing with. These these are okay. I was expecting one kind of vault, maybe like safe with some gold, but oh my god, this is amazing. This is truly a rich. Oh, there's an, the guard's always on patrol down this way. What is he doing? I need to squidge past him, you idiot. That is just annoying. I'll hide here for a bit in the shadows. Hopefully he'll move. No, I, might, I might knock this guy out because he's really annoying me. Doink. There we are. Get out of my way. Now, what what loot have we got down this way? Uh, have we, what have we got? Oh, frame rate dropped just there. Apologies. What, what is even down this way? I hear bellows. There's a blacksmith. Who is this? <laughs> this place is vast, man. These vaults are truly... <gasps> oh! Oh! That was close. These guards are on patrol, man. They're definitely on patrol. They're doing a good job, I'll tell you that. But not good enough. Ah! <laughs> Look at that! Let me in there! Let me in there! I can see all the ore! I can see all the ingots! Please let me in there! Oh my god, I can see all the ingots. I don't know what to do, guys. I might have to come back, you know. I don't think I'm good enough of a... <gasps> I don't think I'm good enough as, as a thief to, to loot this place yet. I need more... I need to steal the keys. I need more pockets. I need, I need to bring a rucksack in. I need to bring a big bag with me, guys. This is, this is not... I need more... Look, there's a... Oh, I've opened that. Oh, no. Don't... Oh, I'm gonna have it. Oh, there's too many guards. Okay, I can't do this, guys. Guys. Oh, my God. This heist is not gonna work. I need I need to bring, like, a bag with me. A big, huge bag. All right. I think I'm gonna come back. Right? But I need to I need to head to the feed squad. I need more training. I think I need more training as a thief before I pull this off. This isn't working, guys. There we are. Knocked him out. Loot. Key. Now, is that going to be the key that can open? What's he doing? He's just spinning on place. <gasps> Still from safe. Alright, what's in the safe? The safe might be the master key to open all other locks. Please. What's in here? <gasps> I've already got a, I've already got more loot than I could ever want from one as one man. I can't open this. This this requires there's so much stuff in here. Oh my god, I, I must come back. Oh there's so many. Look at all look at all the goddamn look at all the ores and everything. Let's knock this guy out. Boink. Now what key have you got, kind sir? Give me a key. Some kind of key. I wanna open this door. Look at all this, look at all this loot. Look at all that. The silver. There's so much silver in there. <gasps> Please. I want every bit of loot in these vaults. Please. Alright, we don't have the key. The key must be from... Oh, there's a goddamn... There's got... The key's got to be in here somewhere, right? It's got to be like... It's got... Is it in the barrel? Is it... No. Where is he? Where are they hiding the master key to open all the locks? Is it in the yacht? The yacht must have it. Alright, guys, I don't think I can pull this heist off yet. This heist is, like, way too big for, like, a first episode thing. I didn't realise it was going to be this big, honestly. I'll be real with you, Chiefs. This is my first time in the vaults of Whiterun. So I didn't realise it was going to be quite this, uh... What have we got here? No, just more of the same. I'll take your necklaces, though. Lockpick. Oh, no, I've been caught. Okay, this is definitely time for me to leave. Let's go down here into the tunnel. Hide for a bit. Alright, guys, I think we've got more than enough already so far. I think we need to leave Whiterun now and head to, to Riften because I've stolen a lot of shit. And there's there's still so much more to be taken from these vaults. But there's a guard right there. Hang on one sec. Sneak past them all just by rolling. Okay, so... Sweet. Let's get out of here. I think we should get out of here. Well, that was very exciting. We now have scouted out the area a bit. We know what's down there. We've stolen a few things ourselves. I mean, let's, let's see our haul for this episode, shall we? I mean, look, we've got, like, let's just, in terms of, like, we've got um, a bunch of necklaces, gemmed necklaces worth, look, look, they're worth hundreds. Look at this. They're worth hundreds. 
We've got potions, and look at all these potions we've snicked. Like, we've got 14 potions of healing that we've stolen. I might hold on to those for my own personal use, actually. Bread, our wine, we've stolen everything. We've got, like, books, keys, and amethysts, and gems. We've got a golden statue of Debella worth 100 gold. We've got so much. Look at all these. Nine silver ingots? Jeez, look at this. It's worth so much money. And that's just scraping the surface of white run only. There's so many cities in this town that have vaults and hidden passageways and there's so much loot to be had. It just needs someone like me, someone greedy enough. Oops, and uh look at my eyes, my eyes are glowing like emeralds, which I will be stealing many emeralds in this series. But for now, I think in this episode I'm gonna pause it here and we'll come back in the second episode. And in the second episode, my friends, I think we're gonna head to Riften. And once we head to Riften, we shall uh, sell, first of all, all we, all we have to, to the fence that, that is in the uh, Thieves Guild, and then we can actually join the Thieves Guild, become a full-fledged member of the Thieves Guild, and then I'm going to see about uh, coming back here and doing the grand heist of looting all those silver bars that are in the vault downstairs. Oh my god, there's obviously countless more vault rooms in the vaults as well, so we know, uh, we know what we're up against now. We're up against like a good two dozen or so guards in there. I would say maybe maybe not that much, but there's a, there's a good few guards in there, maybe a dozen or so guards. Uh, I I wonder if the Yarl has the master key to all the doors, so we're gonna still loot the Yarl's room at some point. But we now know that the vault is here in this storage cupboard, and that leads to treasures beyond belief. But for now, my friends, as always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like, and if you do want to see more, consider subscribing, my friends. I shall see you in the next episode. Goodbye for now.